Now in this lesson we're working with parallel lines. So there is a pair of parallel lines. The line cutting through them is known as a transversal. And the transversal forms a series of angles. Let's look at firstly these two angles. Right, these are known as corresponding angles and they are equal. If we were to trace these angles and look at the letter, it looks like an F, doesn't it? Sometimes referred to as F angles. Now these two angles, they are known as alternate angles. And once again, they are equal. If we were to trace these angles, okay, we have the Z angles. Finally, these two angles, well, have a look at them. Do they look equal to you? No, they're not. Okay, They're known as co-interior angles and they add to 180 degrees. In other words, they are supplementary. If we trace these, we come up with the letter C. Okay, C angles. C for co-interior. Okay, so that's handy to remember. Let's do some examples now. We need to find the value of the pronumeral giving reasons. In our first example here we can see we need to find both A and B. Well let's consider A firstly. We can see it's standing on the parallel line there. That 48 degrees is also standing on the parallel line. And if we trace the angles out, well we have the Z angles. We have the alternate angles. So A equals 48 degrees as well. But we must give reasons. Okay, The reason is alternate angles parallel lines. Okay, The alternate angles are standing on parallel lines. Excellent. Now let's turn our attention to B. In fact B plus 20 degrees. Okay, Now that matches with the 60 degrees. Why? Well let's trace out the angles and have a look. We can see we have the F angles which are the corresponding angles. So we can say that B plus 20 degrees equals to the 60 degrees must give the reason. Okay, the reason? Corresponding angles and parallel lines. Right, now, little equation here. What number, B, plus 20 degrees would make 60 degrees? Okay, what is B? Well, hopefully you can do this in your head. B, of course, would have to be 40 degrees. Excellent. Our second example now, we need to find M. Now if we consider M and then the 125 degrees, well, there's no straight out connection between the two angles just yet. right? They're not alternate, they're not corresponding, and they're not co-interior. So we need to work with the 125 degrees first. We know that angle. Let's work from there. Now we can say that angle there would also be 125 degrees because they are, look at that, the F angles, they are corresponding. Now, what about this 125 we've highlighted? Why is M the same? Can you remember why? Well, they are the same because they are vertically opposite angles. All right, hopefully you can see that. Now, how are we going to write our reasons though? Well, we started with this angle. We work with this angle. At the moment, it's not named, so we might call it X. So in our solution, we'll introduce X on the diagram there. We can say that X equals 125 degrees. Reason? It was corresponding angles and parallel lines. We then could say that M equaled 125 degrees, and the reason behind that is that they were vertically opposite angles. Right, so in that example you can see that sometimes we actually will introduce our own letter and mark it in on the diagram to help us writing the solution. Terrific. Our third and final example in this lesson, we need to find the value of x. Well, we've got two parallel lines there, but it seems to be cut off, doesn't it? If we were to extend the lines, alright, it might seem a little bit easier. It's a useful technique. Let's trace them out. We have our C angles, all right, our co-interior angles. So as a result, by adding them, 6x plus 3x, we should get 180 degrees. Okay, They are supplementary. And the reason is co-interior angles, parallel lines. Now simplifying that, well, 6x plus 3x, of course, is 9x. So we have that 9x equals 180 degrees. 
and solving that by dividing through by 9, therefore we get that x equals 20 degrees. Excellent. Well, that concludes our lesson. Good luck with your questions.